Good evening, Kevin. Good afternoon. We got a banger for y'all today, baby. What you're gonna see in this video is the best version of Call of Duty. I truly mean that. In my heart, Kevin agrees with me. Kevin, let him know. Tubby is actually speaking the truth here. Even I'm having flashbacks to the golden era of COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2. I'm gonna let everything I talk about in this video and everything I showcase speak for itself. All I'm gonna say is, if you do enjoy this, and this is something you'd actually like to see more, hit the like button for me, hit the subscribe button for me. Most importantly, be sure to tell somebody you love them. I'll catch you in the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, I know, Kevin, I know. All right, listen. Not enough people are talking about this, okay? I, let me, let me show you, all right? So, as of when I'm recording this, just so you all understand, Verdansk is coming back to Call of Duty through mobile, and it's coming back tomorrow, as of when I'm recording this, okay? So, this is, so today's Wednesday, I'm setting everything up. I also didn't stream Wednesday, and well, this is part of the reason why. Needless to say, Whips isn't here, so it took me quite some time to set up this whole iPad thing. Okay, so I played a little bit, okay? Just kind of getting a feel for, you know, mobile because it's completely different, obviously. So I, I have an iPad in front of me. I'm techni it's technically going in my monitor, right? We don't need to get into the logistics of it, but I, I just don't think that enough people are talking about this. A lot of you told me Call of Duty Mobile is superior. A lot of people said that to me. I played two games and I think you're right. Listen, I, I hear me out. Let me show you some stuff. I know I sound crazy. Trust me, watch this video, okay? Look, look. First things first. Obviously, this is a mobile game. If you've played mobile games, you know there's gonna be stuff everywhere, popping up everywhere, right? That's just the way. If you've ever played a mobile game, you know that, right? Here is why I think Call of Duty Mobile is better than our current, and this is just so, I really hate to say these words, that Call of Duty Mobile is the better version of Call of Duty, the one that we can play on an iPad or our phone, right? Now, obviously, there's a lot of stuff on the screen right now, and it's pretty stressful just to try to look at it all, right? First thing, if you've noticed it, you might not have yet. So there is a battle pass system, right? Which if we're, everyone here is probably used to, you you know, having the battle pass and all that. This is a very normal thing for COD now. Uh, I think it, you know, just looking at it, I think it works the same way. What I mean by that is like, I think you can basically pay to win this whole thing um, or you can, you know, level and technically unlock it, right? Can I just immediately say, if you haven't noticed yet, okay? Let's let's give a point here to Call of Duty Mobile immediately. What do you all think I'm gonna say? Ready? Three, two, one, the UI, okay? This UI, look at how simple. Think about our battle pass right now in Call of Duty. I want everyone in your head to think about it, right? Maybe the editing team could do some work here. You got like the, you got to click here to get to here. You got to click here to get to this. Look at how simple this is, right? I'm just kind of scrolling at the bottom. If you get to this point, hey, would you look at that? You can get this gun with this cosmetic, right? And then there's literally a button that says, get the battle pass. And you know what I'm saying? Like, how is it that this is on mobile and it's the better version of the battle pass. I'm on Call of Duty Mobile. And this is just, it's immediately better. And for two, by the way, uh, the operator, right? Look at this operator, quick glance, right? I, I, I will say Call of Duty's gotten a little better with operators and stuff. We've been, you know, we've been getting a little bit, but this is like one of the very first guys in the battle pass that you get. And I mean, I think he looks pretty sick myself. Now, immediate point to Call of Duty Mobile over our version and how simple is this? Like how simple is this UI? It's so simple that I can figure it out, right? I can figure out how to get the battle pass. And then y'all have seen me on stream. I'm like, whips, help me with the battle pass, right? Okay, point number one for Call of Duty Mobile compared to current mobile, or I'm sorry, current Call of Duty, all right? Cosmetically, I talked about this a little bit with the battle pass and the operator. Cosmetically, just look at this thing, bro. Hang on, uh, there is audio here. I, yeah, whips is turning on. trailer for a gun and just for the record the audio you're hearing right now is from from the call of duty mobile guys 
Look, okay, whips, we might have to get crazy here because I'm gonna have to move. I think I have to move my camera. So obviously this is a little bit of a more difficult setup for me. Whips goes, oh God. Okay, well, actually, hang on. I'll have whips do this really quick. I think it's important for me to move because there's stuff right under my cam. Everyone, please hold. Abyssal State, right? This is a gun, right, that you can buy. Look, do you guys see the gun that is in the center? There are kill... I want you guys to understand, I'm learning this myself as I'm recording this, okay? There's a base version of this gun and a kill combo. Do you guys see how it kind of is like evolving the gun as it gets more kills? And meanwhile, think about the, the cosmetics and the guns that we can buy in the current Call of Duty versus mobile. I, I, I just don't understand, like the thing that is just hard, so hard for me to wrap my head around. How is it you have the Call of Duty that we're playing on computer and then this is living over here on mobile where everything just seems to be done. I, I mean, do we just say better? Is it just better? Like overall, this Rytec, is better than every single weapon blueprint that we have in Call of Duty to this point on, on PC. I, I, let me know in the comments if you disagree with me. This in my this is better than anything we have. And it's one, it's one blueprint. I'm looking at one random blueprint that I clicked on on the left. Now it kind of looks like there's other stuff here that you can just click on and you can see cosmetically. That I'm assuming is a way to like fly in. Wait, are these all different? Wait, bro. What the hell? Bro, what? I'm assuming this was probably a Halloween thing, I'm assuming. We literally have movie trailers on Call of Duty Mobile for the bundles. I unhinged jokester look at this dude there's a damn cut scene a literal cut scene for the for the bundle there's a cut scene for the bundle kevin it's a cut scene for the bundle whips i'm literally gonna buy all these these i'm not kidding look at these guns look at how sick they look so many people were telling me dude tim call of duty mobile call of duty mobile now in my defense I didn't have all this stuff. I didn't even have a capture card. So I had to get all this. And the reason I got all this was for Verdansk. But like I said, this is my first time booting it up. Me and Whips, I want you guys to understand something. Me and Whips were just testing everything to make sure it's working. And I told him, I was like, wait, bro, I think I actually just want to record a video because of how this is just better. That, that, that calling card, this is a calling card and it's cooler than any calling card we have in Call of Duty. I, I just, I'm going to keep... Got a Michael Bay film for the operator on this, bro. It's unbelievable. It's a damn superhero. You got the fucking Avengers in Call of Duty Mobile. I, I mean, I love how it said not actual gameplay at the bottom there. I don't know if you guys can see that, bro. Yeah, right. The gun turns people into jellyfish. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, of course, Kevin. Why would it not? Listen. I I just need y'all to understand. For me personally, it, it, I'm trying to think of what they're like, what does this mean, right? Like, why is the better stuff for Call of Duty in mobile? You know, it, it, I can't wrap my, that. look at this gun, dude. This is another one. Just look at this thing. Like, and and keep in mind what we have in, in in what do we call it? PC Call of Duty versus mobile Call of Duty. And, and also this bundle, it looks like if you buy this bundle, right? It looks like you get everything. I think you get everything here, right? You get that operator, okay? You get, <laughs> she'll be here in a second. Um, you get the operator, you get like this glider, you get a gun. I don't, and I will tell you all flat out, I don't know how much this is. And if you're a Call of Duty mobile player, mobile, Call of Duty mobile the player. The the secrets of the past, the present and the future. Wait, there's versions of this fucking operator. Am I seeing this right? It has versions of the fucking operator. Calling cart, you get all this stuff, dude. I just... Yeah, this is probably gonna be cool than everything we got to. You know what, I'm not even gonna watch a cutscene because all soon is pissing me off, okay? It's just making me mad. 
you know what's crazy, bro? So many people told me, they're like, Tim, dude, Call of Duty Mobile is better than Call of Duty. And, and I, I just, I have to apologize because I was kind of like, yeah, but I doubt it, right? I haven't even played the game yet. And to be fair, I'm only talking right now about cosmetics. That's it. Cosmetics in Battle Pass, okay? I'm just so impressed with the amount of... A, the amount of stuff you get, and B, just how sick a lot of these guns look. I mean, this one is a shotgun. Legendary shotgun. I'm assuming you can get this epic. That kind of looks like the... It's a peacekeeper. It literally says right there. Okay, and let's make note of that, too. The peacekeeper is in this game. Wait till I play. Dude, just hang on. This gun looks like something out of Willy Wonka. I'm kind of scrolling it on the right here. What is this? Can I make this larger? It literally has all the stats on it. I can pull this up. It has a whole video. It has a perk on the damn gun, bruh. Okay, and look at this, dude. This is a this is a purple. This is a purple gun, and it's better than like all of the legendaries that we have in current Call of Duty. Okay, so for this one, you get a damn top. What the hell? Whips goes. Whips goes. Even the music's better. You know what? Let me know in the comment section. Maybe, maybe I'm putting too much stock into cosmetics. I guess the thing for me, here's here's the difference, right? The reason I think I have so much emphasis on this is because like you have you have all this stuff in Call of Duty right now, but it's better. It, the, I, I think most of you would agree with me here. These cosmetics, the bat and the, the simplicity of the battle, it, it's just immediately better. It's better than what we have on computer. And I, I as a content creator, and the reason I wanted to make this video is because I couldn't believe it. And I feel like there's not enough emphasis on it. As I said before, this right now, all I'm doing is showing you guys, I'm just I'm just showing you guys cosmetics and battle pass, and this isn't even gameplay. Now, I need you guys to understand too, I'm learning this. I, I, I've probably had this set up total for like 20 minutes right now. There is a lot of stuff it looks like, like right here, this is a, this right, if you've played mobile games, this is a mobile screen. If I like, hey, claim this, you get your credits. Right? It's like stuff pops up, blah, blah, blah. Right? Bro, there are cases in this game, Whips. Tell me I can open cases in this game and I'm full switching to Call of Duty Mobile, bro. Say I won't. Is this like a Counter-Strike case? Wait, nah, if I can do case openings on COD Mobile, we'll be seeing you guys. I'm, I'm a full-time Call of Duty con, on COD, I'm a full-time. <laughs> hey guys, YouTube, welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile case opening, guys. Now, on COD Mobile, Whips just looked it up. There is case openings in COD Mobile. Yep, we had a good run. Little did I know when I was just getting this to play Verdansk and I was like, you know what? It'll be nice to revisit Verdansk. Little did I know I was gonna full swap to Call of Duty fucking mobile. Here we are. Okay, now Battle Royale, it's it's drawing me to play that. I'm not gonna do that because I feel like I should test that out separately, okay? I just want y'all multiplayer, okay? Practice versus AI, frontline, there's a training mode. And keep in mind, I'm, I'm, I'm like level one, just so y'all, like obviously. I'm assuming, like it looks like there's a ranked play in this. And if you are a active Call of Duty mobile player, please let me know in the comments, uh, you know, if I'm missing important stuff. Because like I said, I just randomly started recording this because I felt like I wanted to make a video on it and it should be talked about more, okay? So you have a basic gunsmith, right? Assault rifle, you got an M4. Whips, I don't know if you can see the the guns at the bottom. Okay. Type 25, M16, AK-47. Uh, the Man of War. Can, the HBR is in Call of Duty Mobile, okay? The Peacekeeper is in Call of Duty Mobile. There are a FAMAS, an AS Val, the fucking AMAX, the M13. The Look at these. It's, it's, it, it's like they took every good gun from call of duty and they put it into call of duty mobile and this and here here i'm in this i'm sitting here and i'm thinking to myself again i'm asking well why like why is it you got the Graw, you got the amax you got the peacekeeper you got the krig six you got the fucking kilo right you have all these guns the, and I would argue these are some, these are, I would argue these are the best assault rifles. Some of the best, most iconic assault rifles we've had in Call of Duty history. Why did they put them all in Call of Duty Mobile? And why is this the better version of Call of Duty? And why is no one talking about it? And that's why I wanted to, like I said, make this video. I have not looked. I swear, I swear on Kevin. If I scroll and I see the fucking intervention, 
in this game. Like the OG intervention. Koshka, they got the ZRG in this fucking game. They got the HDR. They got the Tundra. They got the t the Tundra. They got the damn Tundra sniper, man. All right, I don't see the intervention. I, this outlaw sticking out to me. Is this the blackout sniper? Is that what this gun is? I'm just looking a little bit. RPD, Holger. I'm seeing like SMGs. They probably have fucking everything in this game, right? PDW. Uh, was this Black Ops 1? There was one Call of Duty. I think it might have been... Actually, it might have been Black Ops 2. That was when I was streaming. This is one of my favorite SMGs. They got the damn Razorback in here, bro. Oh my God, the MSMC Fennec. XQR, and like I said, I'm just looking at the bottom right now. MX9, dude. The, the fucking PPSH. We got the PPSH, the OTS9, the Striker 45, the tech, the fucking Tech Knight. Why? You know what they don't have? Unless I missed it, I didn't see the MP5. That's an L. Wait, is that it right there? I'm so confused, and I don't understand their reasoning behind. It's like this looks like the Akimbo. Shotguns from MW2, by the way. It's like... Because this is all under the same Call of Duty umbrella, right? So, like, why is it that they put the fucking... Car, is this the Car 98? The Car 98 is in this game, bro. Car 98, the SPR, the MK2. Good lord, bro. So, it's like you have all these incredible guns, these iconic guns, and they're all in Call of Duty Mobile, dude. I'm not going to like really get into it here, but you can see there's like attachments and all that, blah, blah, blah. I don't know the best attachments. I didn't even look at camo. <laughs> let me guess. Let, let me guess. Red tiger, blue tigers in this game. Yeah, you can fuck right off. You can literally. You, it, yeah. This, they literally. <sighs> I, I want you guys to understand, bro. This is this is just raw reaction for me. I'm thinking. I'm just thinking you know it's pretty tough for me to think i'm just i'm sitting here and i'm like why is it i haven't seen the red tiger or blue tiger like this since mw2 and these are these were in my opinion one of the most iconic camos in video game history for me all right for me okay that's him they're in warzone as well yeah but it don't look like that do they no way it's insanely similar all right fuck off i knew it was there guys i grinded bro you didn't know all right <clears throat> Y'all know me, dude. I grind camos, guys. You know me. <clears throat> Put the hashtag time in. I actually, I think I'm going to start bringing my iPad to dinner with Alexis, bro, and just grind. Nah, what is this, bro? Fluorescence. This is one of the coolest camos I think I've ever seen. And it's in Call of Duty Mobile, right? Right? It's in Call of Duty Mobile, guys. All this, just look at these camos. This is all in Call of Duty fucking mobile, all right? The game itself, I was playing it, and just so you guys know, I hooked up a, um, uh, a control... Oh, it shut off. Uh-oh. I hooked up a controller and I'm like, so keep in mind, there's no mouse and key here. All right, I'm on controller and I'm not, I'm not a controller player. I'm gonna have to learn how to be. Score streaks wise though, I'll say this too, because this stuck out to me. Hunter killer drone. This was one of my favorite ones from Black Ops 2 and it's in this game. Predator missile. Uh, and just to be clear, I didn't even look at this, but it looks like you got stuff like Swarm. You got VTOL. You got Chopper Gunner. You got the gunship. You got a damn stealth chopper. You got napalm. It's like, whips, correct me if I'm wrong here and comment section, help me out. I'm gonna be looking at a lot of the comments in this video. I know right now I'm just like rambling, but I feel like this is an important thing no one's talking about. These are multiple kill streaks from different Call of Duties put into one, right? Napalm, this was either Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Sentry Gun, that was at least MW2. I know for a fact Hunter Killer was Black Ops 2. Predator Missile, I think, was also Black Ops 2. Um, but then I don't think like, well, Chopper Gunner, that was That was Black Ops 2. These all might be Black Ops 2. I might be wrong. Like, I look at these kill streaks, and in my opinion, these are some of the most iconic kill streaks, too. I don't know. Oh man. They really were like, yeah, let's put the good call of duty on iPad. That's good. Yeah, Dead Silence has a perk in this game, by the way. Cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, here we are. Gameplay. You're gonna notice a couple things. I played two. I played two games. They were two iconic maps. What map is this? Wait, 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 is this? Hold on. Wait. This is um. This is going to be so bad, bro, because people are going to... 
Uh, whips. The controller stopped working. I'm pretty sure this is a Cold War map. I think this is a map from Cold War. Um, how do I leave, bro? Okay, settings. Hold on. Everyone, please hold. Okay, sorry, technical difficulties. I think I'm good now. This is a perfect example of what I'm gonna talk about, okay? Maps. I played two games before I started recording this. Bro, tell me this is working. Oh. Bro, this is Summit. This is Summit from, from Black Ops. And you have, like, the, they have the fucking iconic maps. Gosh dang it. I don't know why this isn't working. This was working. It was working. We had it. We had everything working. Okay, this is an example of what I'm talking about. All right, so you got all of the incredible stuff from all the incredible Call of Duties, bro. Enemy in sight. You got. I mean, look at these incredible players. Target down. No high key, bro. Why is this Swag's lobby? There's no way. Listen. Enemy down. It's like gameplay. <laughs> Did I just get quick scope by a robot? What? Gameplay wise, now keep in mind, I'm not a controller player. Although maybe this is my sign I should swap to controller. Enemy contact. But the thing is, and here's what I don't understand, and this is kind of what I have to talk about. Enemy in sight, changing mag. You don't have, in current Call of Duty, Targets in sight. Can like in down. this, you can play Nuketown, you can play Terminal. You can play Shoot House. Like, it has all of these incredible maps online. in one game, but once again, it's on Call of Duty Enemy mobile. Hunter killer drone deployed. And I just don't, I, like, Let's for, go this way. for me, it's just really confusing for me as to why, even from a multiplayer Target standpoint, and keep in mind here, bro, I'm not even playing BR. Is there what a double? There it is. I'm not playing BR, right? This is like multiplayer only that I'm on right now. Enemy contact. And it's just insane to me, truly, how this Call of Duty. I mean, look at this, bro. I got the damn flamethrower out here. Y'all ready? Like, you have all the best stuff from all these Call of Duties put into one game. Incredible cosmetics. But the only place that you can play it is on COD Mobile, man. I, I just, I am so, I, get down, my sniper. controller sensitivity, by the way, for the record, is trash. And I, you know, didn't really boot this up. I just killed myself with my, thank God that didn't hit me, bro. Like, this is a better multiplayer experience than what you can play. Enemy in sight. Oh God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is like a better multiplayer experience than what you can play on the computer or on console. Now, obviously I'm not necessarily talking about, you know, the way the game is playing, because obviously this is a mobile, this is a mobile game, right? Enemy contact! But in my head, I'm like, why is it? Target's in sight! Enemy in sight! Do you spawn flip, by the way? Did you spawn flip and kill it? I'm, I'm about to drop a nuke, bro. Hang on. That hunter killer would have killed three. Okay. So obviously, and now my understanding is too that at the beginning, oh, God, wait, I got to play the game, bro. Check it. Look at this incredible gameplay out of me. Now, obviously, these are technically robots. I, I'm pretty sure. But I'm pretty sure you get to a certain level in mobile and you can you can you play against other people so I, i'm i'm thank you pigeon thanks guys for the thumbs up but so like we just played nuketown right i'm just gonna go right into another game okay to have to continue so there's like the controller support i will say it's not good all right so there's a play again just play again dude so is this cr so this is crash yeah so this is another one right crash was Whips, can you look it up? I think Crash was MW2? No, COD, COD 4? Was this a Call of Duty 4 map? This is exactly what I'm talking about, right? I just got done playing Nuketown. Iconic map, right? Incredible map. I think everyone here could agree. And now... Absolutely fucking pieced. And now I'm playing Crash 
Wait, what is that? What was that artifact? What was that? I saw it on my screen for a split second, bro. Target's in sight! Contact with enemy! Bro, are these... So wait, these are real people I'm putting out? Tango down. Nah, bro. This is literally the best Call of Duty. This Call of Duty. It's so good. I forgot that I have a UAV. My sensitivity on my controller, I definitely need to adjust. But it's literally, I'm just, the thing I'm so floored about is how this is a better, is this, this is the iconic. No, dude, I finally got the gun. I think that was an artifact. Oh, whoa, buddy. Whoa, buddy, chill with the aimbot. I know I sound like I'm rambling. I just really, I need you guys to understand my genuine confusion of A, why this is not being talked about more, and then B, why, why does it seem like the Call of Duty, you know, I think the sentence that explains it, the Call of Duty that everyone wants to play and would enjoy playing is on Call of Duty Mobile. Enemy in sight. Enemy down. You know what's crazy? I literally heard that guy. The fucking audio. Enemy contact. Tango I, down. You got better audio in COD Mobile, contact bro. You can't make enemy. this shit up right now. Oh, buddy. The same about. Imagine I'm getting hacked on in COD Mobile. Enemy contact. I just like truly, and I'm barely into this Enemy as far as like hours being played. There's probably so much more that I'm missing, but just playing bare bones two games here right and seeing how this cod has the best stuff that they put in the game in one but, but it's a mobile game bro I, I just i don't i don't think i can i i don't understand it yo get fucking geese up buddy uninstall the game uninstall the game oh, in sight. It's just like, think about, obviously you gotta remember that this is a mobile game, but the, the and by the way, my name is Tim the Tat Fat, if you guys see me. I, it's just hard for me to wrap my head around. In sight. I really am him, huh? Wow, that kid was crazy. It's just like the version of COD that I think most people would agree with me that they would want to play is um is this version but why is this version only on my ipad i just don't understand you're gonna take the best maps from all the call of duties you're gonna take the best guns from all the call of dudes you're gonna take all these incredible favela i got favela in mw now obviously now here's what i will say okay i will say this i understand that a lot of these maps right now are in the current cod right but let me you know what dude dome is in this game dome okay dome is mw3 firing range here we go firing range is what whips black ops 2 this is it all right okay this is exactly what i'm talking about everybody do the mob for that untuck. here we are okay we did nuketown Right? You had crash. Now I'm on domination. Friendly advanced UAV it's is online. firing range, bro. Like this COD. Even just a multiplayer experience. And keep in mind, I want everyone here to remember this. I am not necessarily like a multiplayer fan. I really enjoy Oh, it was so fast. Nice work. Get ready for the next round. Let me switch sides. I just, I, I keep looking at my iPad and I forget it's on my screen. I should probably look up here. But I, this is just kind of, I know I sound like a broken Capture record. The objectives. Right. I just want to say to everyone that was telling me, to sit, this guy's got dogs Enemy on my team, bro. The They're getting molly whopped. To everyone that was telling me COD Mobile is the best version of Call of Duty, I heard what you were saying, you know? Like, I, I saw it. I just truly... I just can't believe it. I was doing this because Verdansk is coming back 
while I'm recording this, it's cool, buddy. It's coming back tomorrow. Right? UAV recon is standing by. Even audio. I hear this guy. I hear him so well. He's right here. Losing Bravo. Why, why is there better audio in Call of Duty Mobile? Why do I have better audio in COD Mobile than when I play on my computer or or console? Get better audio in COD Mobile. Friendly advanced UAV is on. Just crazy to me. Destroyed enemies UAV. Friendly XS1 Goliath incoming. Losing Charlie. Enemy. Friendly XS1 Goliath is landing. There's no shot. Oh my God! This dude is reloading. This guy, this guy's a fucking demon, bro. He's farming. Bravo. Look at this guy. <laughs> bro, if I was on this other team, I would 100% back out. By the way. <laughs> Wait, an artifact. So this is a peacekeeper, but it looks like on the ground. It looks like it's supposed to be sick. But it kind of looks normal to me right now. I don't think there's anyone. Peacekeeper. We got Car 98 in this game. We got the Tech 9. I don't know, man. Just, I don't get it. My my ADS or my not my ADS, but my sensitivity is insanely low. By the way, this guy's a fucking demon. By the way, I don't know who this guy is, but this dude is him, bro. That was my teammate. Look at this guy. Bro, it's just farming Call of Duty Mobile, dude. I love it. <laughs> I mean, he's probably playing it because it's the best COD. This is the best version of COD. I I'm just going to wrap it up with this here, okay? If you've made it this far into the video, for one, thank you for watching for so long. The reason I wanted to make this is because I feel like... How would I explain this? I didn't know what I was missing. And what I mean by that is I did not know when people were telling me that this is the best COD, that this truly is the best version of Call of Duty. And I feel like it's one of those things like maybe it needs to be talked about a little more, right? And maybe this video kind of showcases that a little bit. And I mean, if you did make it this far, like I said, hit the like button and let me know in the comments. And maybe this, you know, if this is sort of something that if you agree with me, right, that this why Elaine, maybe some of you have answers because I don't have answers. I, I don't fully. The only thing I can think of is somehow putting all of this into a mobile game is going to make them the most money. Putting the best cosmetics into mobile is going to get them the most money. Right. I, that's the only thing I can think of. I'm talking how simple the battle pass system is, like I was showing earlier, how cool the camos are. Like everything about this game is a better version, man, of COD. Maybe I'm a COD mobile content creator now. You know, you got for dance there and you got a better multiplayer experience. I don't know. Maybe I'm a COD mobile. Tim the COD mobile man. I don't know, dude. I don't know.